Neverwinter Nights 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, and it had me hooked for ages to see the extremely high level of character customization available and the complexity provided by the underlying D&D rules. It's also a decent necromancer experience, but only if you mod it. The base game has summonable undead minions and even a necromancy themed prestige class called the Pale Master. The problem is, in the base game, all these summons suck. They break every one of my golden necromancy rules. Minions are limited, you can only have one of them at a time. Minions are not permanent, they are timed and disappear after a while. Minions are not useful, they are weak and die in a few hits without dealing any useful damage. Finally, the player character is too strong. In order for minion gameplay to be well balanced, the summoner must be weakened. In this game, all the power is in the player character, which is why we get these useless meat shield minions. Fortunately with mods, this could be fixed, all except the last point. The mods will buff the minions, but you'll have to gimp yourself. But don't worry, it's achievable. One nice way is to fill your spellbook completely with minion spells. You can also bring fewer companions and raise the gameplay difficulty to the max to make sure it's not too easy. There's two mods I've used to tweak the necromancy. My favourite is Reron Spell Fixes and Improvements. This mod brings all of the spells closer to how they should be, as defined by how they work in the tabletop Dungeons and Dragons. Most importantly, it buffs the minions tremendously and makes them viable for pure minion builds. Most notably, minions scale with you. Take for example Animate Dead, the beginner's minion spell. At first it gives you a basic skeleton, then from levels 6 to 9 it gives you a zombie which is more powerful. From level 10 and onwards it gives you a skeletal warrior. This is a vast improvement over before. The mod also removes the one summon limit, so you can get a little squad of minions going. Alternatively, for an improved minions experience, but no summon limit changes, you can try Cadrian's PRC pack. The primary focus of this mod is to add extra classes and prestige classes to the game. It also fixes the minions up, but does so in a quality over quantity approach. The minions are improved to the point where they are decent fighters, but you can only have one of them, which rules out a pure minion build. If you're happy with dealing the majority of the damage yourself with the addition of a capable pet, then this mod might be your best option. For my playstyle though, I need nothing but Reron's spell fixes. Finally, there's a third yet flawed option. With the help of a mod merger like the Mass PRC merger by Jake San, you can have both mods and also some more. The problem here is that the merger only supports older versions of these mods because it hasn't been updated. The merger will still work, but newer content from the mods will simply not be accessible. This may or may not bother you depending on what you want. You've got two possibilities for necromancy in Neverwinter Nights 2, divine magic or arcane magic. For divine magic you can choose a cleric, which is the stronger option. You'll also get more minions this way. The second option is arcane magic by choosing a wizard. With wizard you can also become a pale master. While this sounds awesome, it is unfortunately not as great as it sounds. The pale master allows you to become a partially undead creature who can cast all the major undead summons once per day as a natural ability. It also gives you extra armor and immunity to critical hits. These are the highlights. Not so good as the Bone Graft, which is a melee touch attack, something you don't want to be doing as a wizard. You also have to sacrifice some spell progression, meaning that you'll be slightly behind all the other wizards. This is a hefty price for a normal player, but isn't so bad if you only intend on doing minions. We'll focus on the Cleric because it's a better option. You don't have to be an evil Cleric to get Necromancy, but I'm going with an evil Cleric who worships Velsharun the god of necromancy, liches, death, etc. What's important for the cleric is the domains, because they're what's going to grant you your spells. For the best undead minion stuff, I'd recommend the deaf and undeaf domains. The deaf domain gives you the ability to summon a shadow once per day. The shadow gets stronger as you level up. This is great because you get a minion straight away. 
Secondly, we get the Undef domain. This gives you the Undead summoning spells and you get them earlier than a wizard would. With this domain you get Animate Dead, a level 4 spell, at level 2. This is a huge benefit because you'll be summoning Undead much earlier. Now I've gone ahead and made a level 18 cleric so I can show you how this looks. First thing to note is the shadow minion we got from choosing the death domain. It's quite a nice one. Next we'll look at the spell book. Thanks to choosing the undeath domain we've got a buttload of necromancy minion spells here available to us. Here on level 2 we've got animate dead, the most basic minion spell. You'll notice that because we took the undeath domain we got this spell as level 2. Normal clerics won't get it until level 3, and wizards and sorcerers can't have it until level 4. Because we have the spell at both level 2 and level 3, we can fill both slots of it. This means we can cast the spell a lot and we're not going to run out of minions easily. Further down at level 6 we've got Create Undead. This is your medium tier minion spell, and we get it at level 6 which is the same level as other clerics and wizards would get it. It grants you a powerful mummy. The mummy has progression, just like animate dead, so the spell will scale with you and remain useful. Finally, at spell level 7 we get create greater undead. This is the strongest kind of undead you can summon, and thanks to our undeath domain, we get it before other clerics and wizards would at spell level 8. Of all the spells, this one has the most progression. Skeleton Warrior, then Dread Wraith, then Vampire Fighter, then Elite Vampire Fighter, and finally a Night Walker. This spell should stay useful even for the most challenging encounters. If you ever run out of Undead or need some variety, there's also the Planar Ally spell at level 6 that gives you an alignment based ally. For evil players like us, we get the Succubus. Similarly, we have the Gate spell at level 9 that will summon a Horned and Devil. If you decide to go with an Arcane Necromancer, you will unfortunately be punished. Not only do you get your minions later, but you will also not be able to make as many of them. Once modded, this game can be a lot of fun. I didn't initially intend to make a video just on Neverwinter Nights 2. I was going to put it in another one of those compilation videos of two or three other games. But it soon became apparent that, as I went on and on, that it wasn't going to fit in one video. So I figured I'll make a video just for Neverwinter Nights 2 and cover it properly. I might do that for the other few games coming as well. Hope you enjoyed.